You're here. That person who just called gets to vote, so I... Yeah. Republican State Representative Joe Strauss of San Antonio spoke with our reporters today about apparently having the votes to oust three-term House Speaker Tom Craddock when the legislature convenes January 13th. Right now, and I've been meeting with uh, with members today, and we'll continue through the afternoon um, doing that. And a lot of phone calls, obviously, but uh, I'm told we're at 76. First of all, I'm not leaving Republicans on the sideline. Um, I'm a proud, lifelong Republican with credentials um, uh, a mile long, um, but I am a Republican who's not afraid to reach out to Democrats. And uh, there are 74 Democrats who were elected to the Texas House. That's down from 88 a couple of cycles ago. Uh, so I haven't left Republicans behind. In fact, I'm trying to find enough time to call all of them uh, and invite them to come along. And in my view, it's not a Republican-Democrat divide. Uh, my approach to um, the speakership is, is to try to pull the... Uh, all the various factions together. The fact is we've had a divided house for some time. Um, and at 76, 74, it's, um, it's divided by party now. You know, I think all of these 150 members have been elected by, um, by their districts with the expectation that they're going to do good things for their uh, constituents back home. And I think it's the, it's the, um, job and responsibility of the speaker to empower them to do that. Um, you know, we've, we've had this paralysis in the House for, um, you know, since the end of the last session, at least since then, and um, the members, the large majority of the members don't see it getting any better under the status quo. I think it means a lot to the average person that their uh, elected representative is empowered to, uh, to represent them. I don't think the average person at, in our home districts um, want to be immersed in the internal um, you know, political power game up here in Austin, and I think they get disappointed reading about so much of this. Uh, and it's my goal to uh, put, put as much of that behind us as we can and move forward. Not, not look back, but to move forward and to, uh, to um, have a new, to start a new day in the House. And you feel comfortable you're the next Speaker of the House? Well, yeah, I, mean, I feel good about our numbers, sure, yeah. And uh, I think that, um, that um, the, right, you know, the right combination is somebody who's uh, willing to pull all the, all the parties and factions together and say, look, I haven't, you know, what's being portrayed as a weakness in my background, I think is a strength. I haven't had... Um, you know, I haven't, I haven't had all those battle scars. I haven't been involved in all those conflicts and other speakers' races. Um, I don't have scores to settle, and uh, that's just not what, that's not what I'm about. 